I Radio Morning News Fast here the headlines. A seven-day Adventist church has been burnt down in Gogrial East Warab State in what church officials believe may have been motivated by religious hostility. A senior legal counsel in Central Equatorial State says the lack of a forensic laboratory in the country is obstructing the work of the judiciary to prosecute criminal cases. And Ghanaian President Nana Akofuado says his country is experiencing its worst economic crisis. This is stories and more coming to you in this news bulletin with me, Lasuba Memo, and now the news in detail. A seven-day Adventist church has been burnt down in Gogrial East of Warab State in what church officials believe may have been motivated by religious hostility. Pastor Daniel Maraj, who is the church director for public affairs in Greater Bahar El Khazal, says a known actionist set ablaze the house of worship that was unoccupied at the time on Thursday morning. He says the church could not establish the motive of the attack. But Pastor Daniel believes their doctrines contradict cultural values of the local and may have triggered the attack. This is not the first time that churches in the state have been actually burnt down. According to media reports, in 2017, more than 150 followers of the church were allegedly arrested and tortured by police authorities in the defunct Tonch state. The report citing Pastor Wal Adegun, who was a district leader at the time, alleged that the Adventists were forced to drink alcohol and smoke tobacco while in the police custody. The mayor of Bor Municipal Council in Jungle State has banned the making, selling, and consumption of strong alcoholic drinks. The order came out as a rescue to the locals who spend most of the time and money drinking a cheap and domestically brewed wine. Mayor Samuel Atenge also ordered all the bars in the town not to operate during weekdays in the morning hours except weekends. Samuel Atenj says he ordered the security forces to take legal action against violators of the bylaw. Early this year, the National Bureau of Standards banned the sale of any 100 milliliter jeans and spirits. These include London Star No. 1 Chief and Royal Jeans. The Department of Quality Assurance and Inspection said the government institution based its decision on the health effects of the, of the drinks. The band also ordered, rather, the band order was followed by several states, including Northern Bahar El Khazal, Western Equatorial State, Lake State, and Central Equatorial State. This is I Radio Morning News, and now to the international scene. Ghanaian President Nana Akofo Addo says his country is experiencing its worst economic crisis. The president said in a televised address to the nation on Sunday, We are in crisis. I do not exaggerate when I say so. I cannot find an example in history when so many malevolent forces have come together at the time. The Ghana city has depreciated by over 50% this year and is listed as the world's worst performing currency against the U.S. dollar. Mr. Kofado blamed speculation and illegal forex trades for the depreciation, adding that the central bank would clamp down on perpetrators. And finally, Brazil has taken a turn to the left as former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva beat far-right incumbent Jairo Bolsonaro in the presidential election. After a decisive campaign which saw two bitter rivals on opposite sides of the political spectrum go ahead to go head to hate, Lula won 50.9% of the votes. It was enough to beat Jair Bolsonaro whose supporters had been confident of victory. But the division which this election has highlighted is unlikely to vanish. It is a stunning comeback for a politician who could not run in the last presidential election in 2018 because he was in jail and banned from standing 
for office. This is I Radio Morning News. And to end this bulletin, here is a recap of the headlines. A seven a seven a seven day Adventist church has been burned down in Gobriel East Warab State in what church officials believe may have been motivated by religious hostility. A senior legal counsel in Central Equatorial State says a lack of forensic laboratory in the country is obstructing the work of the judiciary to prosecute criminal cases. We will update you on this story later. And Ghanaian President Nana Akofo-Addo says his country is experiencing its worst economic crisis. That's the end of iRadio Morning News. If there is a story or an event you would like iRadio to cover or report about, please send us a text message on plus 211-912-986986. It's also a WhatsApp number. Follow us on Twitter at iRadio Juba. Like our Facebook page iRadio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at iRadio South Sudan. You can also visit our website and listen to us online at www.iradio.org. Stay tuned for the news in Arabic at half past the hour. I am Lasuba Memo. Thanks for listening.